Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, Neil Artisan and Educator here, and today we are going to play with this uh, ombre French trend with a bit of twist, spiders and a Jack Skellington. I hope you really uh, enjoy learning the set. Have a preview of it in here. It's actually even not that hard to do it, uh, so if you recreate the silk hashtag Dorota Palicka, uh, as I would be really happy to see your work. Also, we are here on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, but since we are getting into those winter months, uh, we will be able hopefully to produce more videos for you, so subscribe if you're new in here, and also existing subscribers, thank you guys so much for all your likes, comments and shares. Let's start! So spooky for a change and uh, yeah the French ombre but a little bit more advanced so we are going to play with the three colors I will show you first of all with those ombre uh, trend uh, and then we will do in the middle finger uh, the design so I'm going to use the gel art paints in black and white and uh, the brush so on the brush we are going to put that's a watercolor brush on the one side some black and that's the brush which I'm going to use to do the ombre just because it is kind of more precise uh, with the three colors. Don't put too much black because black is a very highly pigmented color so you don't want to have too much of it. So I'll just put some black, do it on the other side, uh, on the other tip. And I think it just goes awesome for those uh, Halloween set uh, and a film. Instead of doing the stripes, we can do uh, those uh, ombre. Then the white in the middle. And then white on the other tip as well. I just don't want my brushes to get contaminated. So I'm doing the color application first and then once I've got the color I can start blending. So on my brush I've got some white in there and then very slowly I am start blending the colors in. I really don't want to rush this design because I wanted it to be pretty. So that's one side blended. And then I'm doing the same on the other side. I don't want also too much black because we want to put some spiders in there, okay? So that's the first blending done and we have to cure it. I have to clean the brush because I've got some excess of the black paint in there. So remove that excess and pick up a drop of the white because the white is the main color we want in here. And then blend another tip. Okay, that's me happy on this side. And here I didn't clean it my brush and I had some black so we can see it the blending isn't as nice so uh, I'm actually glad when the things are happening on the videos now I'm just going to dry clean this brush 
pick up the white, clean it again. And there was a good question. Someone asked me, why do you clean your brush with the paint? So my paint is still loaded with those black inside and that's why I pick the white. So it is, um, the bristles kind of drink the white instead of black. Okay, I need to clean my brush because I've got some black to blend here. And then I'm going to use it, the black one again, just to smooth this side. Okay, that's me happy now. If you would do it on the client, you can touch up at the end with the small brush around the cuticle area, like I would go and do it, touch up in here, so this way you don't touch any of faults. Let's cure this one. And uh, then we are going to do the opposite colors. So another tip which I can give you guys is because we are work, gonna work with black over the white, take a tiny bit of the top coat and just put it over. Don't put too thick amount, like uh, just, a, just a thin amount and then give it a cure. Um, the reason for it is your, um, your tip is going to be cleaner. I didn't do it that on the pinky and you can see my white isn't as white. Uh, so um, let's see how this would work. Okay, that might be a great tip for you. And I'm using a top coat with the inhibition layer. So that's a soak of top gel because the gel uh, sticks into the rough or sticky surface. So I cannot apply high shine because it's a no wipe top gel. Let's cook it, this one as well. And um, when my tip are curing, I'm going to start painting the first, um, first part of the spoky design here. For that, we are going to use the, the Tyler brush. So first of all, I was using the watercolor brushes and now I'm working with the detailer brush. I have picked up the black paint and then we are going to start painting with the eyes, okay? So um, remove like the excess of the paint first from your brush and then paint the shape of the eye, the eye shape. Color that in. I suggest you do it smaller to start with and then if it's necessary, you could add it a little bit more. So this one, make it like a shape of the eyebrow. And then color that in. I could make it bigger, now I can see it. So it's easier to plan for me the composition if I'm start with something, otherwise I don't know uh, where to go and how big I want the things. Again, this one needs to have a shape of the uh, eyebrow. And then that's me happy with the eyes, so I can give them a cook. Okay, then the first tip is ready. And we are going to do start doing those uh, ombre. So now we are going to use the black in the middle. So black in the middle. and then white on the sides. Okay, clean the brush and let's start blending. So 
So drop of the white because we don't want too much black. And then the other side. Clean my brush and blend more black. Okay, that's me happy with the blending, so let's clean it. We are going to use the gel brush and the UV cleanser. So wipe the smile line on the top and you can see it, it works cleaner, like the white is definitely cleaner. Uh, on the second one I'm going to do it even better because I will remove some excess of the inhibition layer. So my black is not going to slide over it as much. And clean up. And now I can easily remove uh, the black from the white because it's protected from the top coat, so it's going to be cleaner. It definitely does the trick, guys, uh, and I suggest you do that. With this difference, that's you just remove an um, excess of the inhibition layer. Okay, so I'm just tidy it up. And then do the twist. See, because I'm working with the gel paints, they are much more pigmented than the actual gel polish is. It's going to take always a slightly longer time to clean it up, but it's definitely worth it. And we've got enough white, so our spider over the white is going to look super cool. Okay, just take my time. See, there is some white in here. Remove that completely. So it does really take a time to clean it properly, but once it's done, it looks super cool. Then because I had the stop coat, I need to touch it up my black because it just doesn't want to touch up. It doesn't want to stay in there, it's sliding on top of the inhibition layer. And I'm going to also touch up my white. And then we can cook it. Okay, so just touch it up around the needle folds. And then cure it. Okay, so on this one, we are going to remove a drop of the inhibition layer, just so it's not as slidey, especially on the black. I have used only a dry wipe because I want some inhibition layer, like I don't want to be removing it completely. And then let's do the ombre. So black, and you can see it, black is black now. <laughs> But it will be also easier to clean it uh, than on the previous um, tip, which I did on pinky. Okay, 
quite often I do things on the go. Uh, so when I'm recording the tutorial, I might actually discover something. We might came up, came up with some new idea for the design, uh, which is so cool. Now, obviously on the client, I wouldn't go as quick, like I wouldn't touch the new folds um, and I can always touch it up with a small brush at the end. Clean my brush again. Tiny bit of white and now let's blend it. Much easier. So you can see the difference with the first tip and with the second one, clean it so we don't do the first mistake because then it would go too dark. Pick up our white and then do the other side. Okay. And then clean it up. So again, the gel brush with the UV cleanser. Do not put too much UV cleanser because if you've got too much UV cleanser, then the things are really difficult to clean up um, because the UV cleanser is going to smudge your gel. That's perfect. I'm really happy with that. So when I start doing this design, I didn't want it those um, black like gel polish uh, beader. I have tried to remove it, but I actually quite like it uh, because then it makes the design to stand out uh, a little bit more. Um, so I do, I do prefer it to be honest. Okay, and the other side. It looks cool. <laughs> And the last swipe, that's it. So that's me happy with the smile line. Now do the, oh no. And now do the twist. And make sure the twist goes to the other color so it's more visible. Then clean it up. Don't use harsh products uh, on your brush like I'm using the UV cleanser. It's much more gentle on the brush. Okay, that's me happy with the twist. Clean it, touch it up with the small brush. So just around the cuticle area. And then cure it. Okay, let's come back to the face and tidy up this mess. Uh, I'm going to go back to my detailer brush and some black. Like make sure you've got only very little product on your brush so your brush does the, the, um, does the work the way you want it. And now we are going to paint the nostrils. So you can see it, I've got the blob. To be able to pick up the blob, I'm just, there we are. I'm just like picking it up like with the blob. If I want the line, then I'm dragging the product and I have no blob. Okay, so blob is like, you kind of swipe it almost like with the scoop. So we've got those blob and we are going to paint the nostril. And doing it with the blob is much easier because then you've got the shape of the nostril and then you just drag it up. Then the other one, so another blob. And then drag it up. Okay, so we've got a nice nose shape. 
Now I can see that the eye can be a slightly bigger. We are also going, going to paint the eyebrow. So make some twist. Eyebrow shape. And then we are going to paint this eyebrow on the top as well. Okay, well, let's paint the other eyebrow. He's an angry eyebrow face. Now we need to join them on the top. And then join everything up so we can do the shape of the face. One line and the other line. Okay, we've got that done. Let's paint the ugly smile. <laughs> One side, other side. Do the stitches there. Okay, so we've got the stitches and then finish the chin. And the neck. Then instead of the tie, we are going to put, I don't know how is it called, but it's in a shape. So we're doing one line. Second line, and that's the ears. So make like a wee triangles. Once you've got the triangles, top of the head, and then paint another triangle. Okay, so another triangle there. Then color everything in, but leave two empty spaces for eyes. Okay, so barely from that going one side, other side. When we break the things into the shapes, I think it's so much easier, guys. And then let's do hands. So the hands are going to be quite stripy. Clean up my brush so it doesn't paint too thick. And we've got one stripe. second stripe and then the third stripe and then stripes in here one i need to check it how is it going to go so second one third i have turned it down a little bit fourth which is even more turn it down and then we are going to come back with two stripes, three, three stripes. <laughs> okay, let's cure it, everything, and we are going to add some shadowing in there as well. Actually, I'm going to...
add more life into my eyebrows. There we are. Okay, those tips are cooked as well, so we can remove them. The other one is cooking, so we can add the shadow and later on. And now I'm going to grab the base gel and we will do some spiders. So a drop of the base gel on my mixing palette. And then I've got some crystals here. So we are going to do it there. How? Oh. And I've got Dilemma now. Do I want it on the top or do I want it on the bottom? We will do one on the top, one on the bottom. And I get them in different directions. So this one is here. Here and there. Let's pick up the gems. So you have to place them on the white part let's give them a cure do it same in here but here i think i want the spider there yes let's do it there hmm so i want one tiny here And I have put too much, but no, let's do it this way. One in here. So on this one, I'm going to have two spiders. Why not? Totally, that was a good choice. Well done. And one and two. Perfect, let's cook it. The detailer brush again. So this one is much shorter compared to the D-liner, you can see it. So that's the D-liner, which is much longer and the detailer, which is much, much shorter. Okay, so we need those. You have teach me guys last year how this is called fangs. I think so. Okay, so I'm just painting two tiny ones and then some legs. One. And second one, which is going to be much longer. So one is long, one is short, and then the ones which are coming to the front. So again, short one. And then long ones. Okay, so I've got some legs in here and now I'm going to cook the spider. Quickly, same in here. So fangs. Legs. Okay, I actually prefer the front ones to be longer. I think the spider is cooler, it's more scary. And I like the fact we have put those gems with the color in them. So the first one is longer leg. Like 
like straight. Cool. This is nice and scary spider. I love this one actually. And then again, the first one is longer leg. And then the one here is shorter. Cute. I love this new. Actually, it's so cool. Okay, let's add some uh, shadowing into that man. So I've got my brush in here. Top coat, soak of top gel again. And I've had some black in it, so I'm just putting a drop more of the black and we are going to do those uh, shadows. So we want some shadows here. We want some shadows on the other side. And then we want the shadow, which is a shape of those cat face. Is it like a cat or bath? I don't know. We want some shadow on the eyebrows, under the eyes, because he's ugly. Tiny bit on the side of the face, underneath of the neck. If you don't it too much, take the top coat and just blend it. And then quite a decent shadow there. Couple of the shadows on the top, just so the tip is not empty. And then cure it. We just have to finish our design with the top coat, but I hope guys you have extremely enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh, with incorporating those, uh, those viral trend uh, and the Halloween. So now I'm using the no wipe top gel. And when I'm putting the top coat, the top coat is gonna smooth out everything because as I say, I have used the paint on gel. So they are much thicker consistency. They are, you could almost use them for the 3D work as well. Um, and things looks oh things looks different um, before top coating. Remove the top coat from the gem. I didn't want it that. And cure it. Yes, I know. Clean my finger. <laughs> I always do, guys. If if I touch the product, I always do. But thank you for worrying for me. I'm always super careful because I want to be. Um, forgive me that, guys, but because this design is so pretty. Oh, she touched herself again. Because this design is so pretty, I'm just going to get a better blending on the first one where we had those top coat excess of the inhibition layer. There we are. Top coat the spooky guy <laughs> and you know guys it looks complicated this design looks really complicated but i think they aren't you've got so much uh, room for the mistake with it um, you can kind of go a bit random if that makes sense okay top coated this one again i'm trying to avoid the crystals Oh, I'm loving those cute spiders. And I love the fact they've got like those um, reddish hits in them as well. Like, I think it looks super cool. If you liked it, this design and you're gonna try it, you can hashtag Dorota Palicka on some other social medias uh, as I will be happy to see it. We've got also some Facebook group where you can share your work as well. And if you liked it, this video in general, hit the share button, pretty, 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 please, so the others can see it as well. But let's see how this is going to look as a um, uh, full set. Um, also, all the products I have used in this tutorials are available on our website, uh, which is in the description of this video. A spooky guy. It looks cool together. 
don't want to touch them too much because the top coat needs to cool down and I always under cure so I can show you quicker what we have created. But yeah, let's look into this uh, set. That's the finished results. It's cool, like it is really cool. I hope you are guys really liking it. I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.